What's going on everybody? It's Rumpo here and today I am bringing you another Prima Games video. This time we are going to dive right into the amazing Spider-Man 2 and show you how to beat all the bosses. Now we're not going to show you all the bosses today. Today we are going to be focusing on Black Cat, which is one of the first boss fights in the string of boss fights that takes you to the end of the game. The last six missions each has a boss fight and we want to cover them all if possible. So today, Black Cat for you. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of the most difficult boss fights, and that's really not saying much because it's not that hard. For the most part, these battles are fairly simple. If you know how to approach them, you'll have no trouble beating them. So with Black Cat, she does not call in any help, and that is big. What you want to do to defeat her, though, is keep in mind you cannot use your seismic blast. She is extremely fast and she is immune to that. So don't try to stun her with your seismic blast the same as you would a brute, for example, which are those great big guys that you fight sometimes. What you can do is look at your screen. Very often in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, it will prompt you, it'll tell you, press L1, if, and this is of course for the PlayStation 4 that I'm speaking about, which is the footage you're watching. Uh, so for me, it would say press L1 or R1 and L1 at the same time. If you do those things, you'll actually perform attacks and you'll cause damage to her. So whereas you're kind of trying to think, what should I be doing to hurt her? Well, the game tells you. So all you have to do is really follow along with what it's instructing you to do. The things that you need to watch out for with Black Cat, of course, are the damage that she can do to you, and she is very, very quick. So again, you're going to pay attention to the warnings on your screen. If you get a message telling you to use your evasive roll, use your evasive roll. If you see uh, that things on your screen start to go a little bit red or they start to tingle with your spidey sense, it's time to dodge. And as long as you are very timely with your response to that, you will have no problem. She will not hurt you. Now every once in a while after you hurt her, she's gonna run away to another part of the museum and in order to engage her again, use your spider sense, you'll be able to track her down and if you don't want to use your spider sense, you can simply just listen to the sound of her voice and you'll be able to tell as long as you have a decent headset or speaker system I would assume, whereabouts she is and you can head over there and ambush her. That's being key, try to ambush her. So when you sneak up on her, you don't want to walk in front of her, you know, 20 feet away, she'll see you and the fight begins. Try to sneak up behind her, get a couple cheap shots in to give you an advantage. But really, that is all that it takes to beat Black Cat, is just paying attention to what the screen tells you, and also avoiding her attacks, and it's as simple as that. So that's all the time I have, folks. Uh, please come over, visit us at www.primagames.com. We do have a full walkthrough for the amazing Spider-Man 2 up that you can check out for any parts that are causing you trouble. Thanks, everybody. I will see you in the next video.